Welcome to my full run on the Cardiff White Water course. I've never run it before and haven't been on this level of continuous white water for at least 10 years. The aim of this video is to show you the lines I took in order to try and run the whole course for the very first time without capsizing. I did take a walk down the course beforehand so I had seen each drop and knew they were all within my capability. This is the start ramp, it's much easier than walking up. Ok, let's run the course and see if I can make it down without capsizing. Here's where the water exits from the pumps after it has been lifted up from the lower pool. The course was running at 8 cubic metres per second. Drop 1, a nice easy drop with a line to river left to avoid the stopper, or punch through it as I did. On most of the drops there are little eddies either side for breakouts. Drop 2. A bit more of a stopper on this drop so a little speed is needed to push through it. A strong paddle stroke just before the stopper will lift the nose of the kayak over the stopper helping it to get through. It's a little turbulent here with two sets of blocks either side. The flow on the course is very strong especially near to and coming off the blocks. Drop 3. A small wave with easy lines either side. The flow pushes towards the blocks on river right. You can see how close I was to the blocks on this and on the next drop. Drop 4. This is a bigger drop and a good holding stopper. There is a line river left to miss the stopper and make the eddy. This is a popular place spot so watch out for other paddlers. You'll see that the flow is pushing towards the wall on the right. To set up for the next drop you need to turn to river left and put in a few paddle strokes so you align with the next drop. Drop 5. A nice clean line through the middle of this drop. You want to be central to the V so you don't drop over the blocks on river left or right. There is a line to make the eddy on river left. Avoid the blocks just under the water. The flow is pushing towards river right again and spins me all the way round. Drop 6. This is a similar drop to the previous one, right down to the block ledge on river right. Blocks are used throughout the course to create drops and to narrow the flow. Sometimes they are clearly visible and other times they are just under the water. As with any obstruction in a river, if you hit them, they will compromise your river line and potentially capsize or trap you. Posted on the island in the middle are water watchers. These are trained and equipped rescuers who are there to help you if you get into difficulty. Drop 7. This is a wider drop with easy lines either side or through the middle. Remember to put in your power stroke to clear the stopper. Move to the middle of the course now as you need to set up for the next drop. The next section is a really nice multi-drop sequence to the end of the course. Drop 8. This is a very narrow drop with a fast flowing exit. Many blocks on both sides need to be avoided. You can clearly see the narrow entry from above the drop and this will set you up for the rest of the section. Drop 9. Blocks either side are narrowing the flow and producing a small wave. It's an easy line down the middle. Drop 10. A small curling wave angled in the flow. It gives a slight push to river left. Again, this needs correcting before the next drop so the blocks are avoided. Drop 11. A nice line down the middle and tending towards river left. The flow is pushing in an arc towards river right, so best to keep the kayak pointing slightly river left and control using paddle strokes. Drop 12. A V drop with a stopper on the right of the V. Line is down the middle just skimming the stopper. Drop 13. Just a bumpy wave with no stopper. Keep in the middle for this one to set up for the next drop. Drop 14. Run down the middle as it's a V wave with stoppers on either side. Keep the kayak moving and you'll punch through the wave rather than drop back onto the stopper. The flow pushes toward the barriers so angle the kayak to the left and keep paddling. I'm really pleased with that run. No major errors and I stayed upright. Have fun and we'll see you soon.